The end of all stars in the distant future, the eventual demise of our sun billions of years from now. Catastrophic events like volcanic eruptions and nuclear winters could block out sunlight or even celestial bodies might disrupt the balance of our solar system, potentially turning Earth into a rogue planet. Although these scenarios sound like something out of a frightening sci-fi movie, each one is a possibility we face in the universe. In previous videos, we've explored the chance that Earth could lose its life-giving energy source from the Sun, but how can humanity survive without the Sun, which provides the essential energy for life? If any of these events were to occur, we would need to find alternatives to the Sun's energy. What if I told you that laboratories around the globe are already working on that very solution? The creation of the first artificial sun on Earth. Now scientists are embarking on an audacious quest to recreate the sun's power in a laboratory. This endeavor is not just about scientific curiosity, it is about solving one of humanity's greatest challenges, finding a sustainable and clean energy source. A laboratory in California is on the brink of creating an artificial sun on Earth. The team works tirelessly to create an artificial sun, using the world's most powerful lasers, approximately 100 times stronger than any other laser currently in existence. They aim to initiate fusion reactions that mimic those occurring in the sun's core. Imagine harnessing this force, unlocking a clean, safe and nearly limitless energy source for future generations. They could generate enough energy to power a city of one million people for an entire day using nothing more than a single glass of water. Just think about it. To sustain such a large city for an entire year, you would need only 365 glasses of water. To understand the National Ignition Facility's work, we must first appreciate the immense potential of nuclear fusion. Delving into the heart of the matter, we see that nuclear fusion is the process that powers the stars, including our sun. In the sun's core, hydrogen atoms fuse under extreme pressure and temperature, forming helium, and releasing tremendous amounts of energy in the form of light and heat. These can be extracted from seawater and lithium, making them abundant and accessible. A single gram of fusion fuel can release the same amount of energy as several tons of coal, but without the harmful carbon emissions or long-lived radioactive waste. This fusion occurs deep within the sun, where immense gravitational pressure maintains a scorching temperature of 28 million degrees Fahrenheit. On Earth, we aim to recreate these conditions using powerful lasers energized by trillions of watts from the US electric grid. By deploying high-powered laser beams, we can simulate the extreme environment found at the sun's core. The objective is to bombard a target in a large reaction chamber to harness nuclear fusion, the very force that powers the sun, by mimicking the high temperatures and pressures characteristic of stellar environments. Recreating the sun's power on Earth is a formidable challenge. The laser beams converge on this capsule, heating it to millions of degrees Celsius. This implosion compresses and heats the atoms, creating plasma where fusion can occur. For a brief instant, the power output surpasses the entire electrical capacity of the United States. This immense burst of energy is what makes the National Ignition Facility laser system so remarkable. It has the potential to unlock new frontiers in scientific research from nuclear fusion to advanced materials science. The possibilities are truly limitless. The ultimate goal at the National Ignition Facility is to achieve ignition where fusion sustains itself, extracts more energy than we input. This requires precise timing, energy and control of the laser beams and target capsule. Scientists use simulations and experimental data to refine their techniques. If everything unfolds as planned, we will need only a minimal amount of power to initiate the laser. The fusion it generates could yield enough energy to restart the laser for another cycle, producing approximately 50 to 100 times more energy than is required to fire the lasers. If successful, this could represent a groundbreaking advancement in energy generation. The energy generated from the first cycle would be used to fire the lasers again, releasing 50 to 100 times more energy than originally consumed thereby providing a nearly limitless source of clean energy. Fusion energy offers immense potential to revolutionize our world. The fuel, deuterium and tritium is abundant in seawater. A single glass of water could generate the same energy as hundreds of gallons of gasoline. Fusion power plants would be safe, with no risk of meltdown or harmful emissions. The primary byproduct is helium, an inert and harmless gas. 
The road to a fusion-powered future is challenging but promising. Achieving ignition requires overcoming significant technical hurdles. Scientists explore various approaches. Developing materials that withstand harsh conditions is crucial. International partnerships are essential for pooling resources and expertise. Even if this particular project does not succeed, numerous initiatives worldwide are striving to harness solar energy. It is only a matter of time before someone achieves this monumental goal. However, on December 5, 2022, the National Ignition Facility made history by achieving fusion ignition, marking a significant milestone in the quest for sustainable energy. This groundbreaking achievement involved focusing 192 laser beams onto a millimeter scale hydrogen fuel target, resulting in a yield of over 1.35 megajoules. This success brings researchers closer to the ultimate goal of achieving net energy gain from fusion reactions. Imagine a world powered by clean, safe and limitless fusion energy. A future where our cities are powered by clean, sustainable fusion energy. This would drastically reduce our carbon footprint and help combat climate change, ensuring a healthier planet for future generations. Fusion could transform our relationship with energy, ensuring a sustainable future. It's not just a futuristic dream to survive without the heat of our sun. It has the potential to change our lives here on Earth forever within our lifetime. It offers a lifeline for future generations, providing the energy they need to thrive. The dream of a fusion-powered future draws ever closer, offering hope for a brighter tomorrow. Ultimately, everything in our universe will eventually meet its end. If we manage to survive long enough to witness the death of the sun, or perhaps even the demise of all stars, this small first step in creating an artificial sun could pave the way for generating artificial stars in the distant future. However, one undeniable fact remains. Our sun will not last forever. The pressing question is whether we will endure long enough to face the need for a replacement. After all, the sun will not go quietly. Its fiery demise could spell destruction for our entire solar system. To learn more, watch the next video.